Welcome to Property Care. Today we are going to discuss about uh, there is a BBMP sending out uh, you know many owners SMS saying that keep your property tax receipt and uh, power bill copy in your hand. They are coming for a digitization of the property records. So this is uh, being floating around last two three weeks. Uh, I am also you know receiving from my customer uh, on those SMS saying that what is this happening. I don't know what is this, uh, uh, you know, uh, so you take care of this like that, uh, you know, owners are forwarding me the SMS. So one owner asked you, what is this? Uh, why can't you uh, tell us what is this? So that is the reason I am putting this video. So this will help, you know, the uh, background about uh, why the BBMP is digitizing the uh, property records. So that is the objective of this video. BBMP property digitization. What is this all about? Why they are doing this? And uh, so that is the idea behind this. And uh, uh, so the target audience are property investors, owners, NRI, OCIs, and tenants, those who are trying to buy a new property also can uh, uh, help some few points from this. So I'm sharing this information for uh, you know education and understanding purpose only. So why this uh, BBMP property digitization? Oh, what is the use of it? So this is the SMS uh, I was talking and uh, many owners in Bangalore, they received this. Uh, BBMP is creating the property record for, for which BBMP staff will visit your uh, flat or house, uh, you know, a door to door uh, visit. So keep the uh, property tax receipt and BISCOM bill ready. So what is this all about? And, uh, you know, that is what my customers are asking. So the idea behind this is the current scenario in the BBMP, what is uh, what is the issue, why they are moving to this. So the first uh, thing is that uh, in BBMP records, there are people built uh, around a four floor building, but the tax is calculated for uh, three floors only, or they have shown to the BBMP three floors only. So there is a mismatch. So that uh, because of this, the BBMP incurring the loss of one floor tax. So that is also, this is also one of the reason. And uh, the incorrect uh, square feet, standalone building or the main uh, majority of the building, apartment complexes and uh, not major issues, except a few apartment also I'm discussing. So standalone building, there is a property tax version is the reason of initiating this, uh, you know, BBMP initiative. And the deviation is not accounted. So BBMP record showing and uh, and actual physical property records are not matched. That is also one crucial point. And the self assessment key scheme. So whenever uh, you know any new property coming to BBMP tax, uh, you know net. So there is a self assessment scheme. Uh, you know the the owners will declare my property is so and so square feet. So in many cases that become uh, incorrect. So that uh, whatever the owner declared square feet, it is not the actual square feet. So, or maybe when they deviate or add a floor on, to, on top of the existing building, that is not captured. So there are some self declaration went wrong. So these things were uh, been identified the government and uh, you know, our deputy CM Shiv Kumar has uh, told that we need to correct this in our system so that they can increase the, their revenue. Government revenue will be more. And because of these uh, issues, there are revenue loss to the government. And there are some many manual work without a digitization. So around 5,100 handwritten register, which is not digitized as of now. So, so the correcting that and managing that become so much difficult to BBMP. So now the, there is a tender been floating in the market. They are looking at private agencies who will uh, scan these existing five, 10, 510 register data and bring into the system. So they are outsourcing this, this work and looking for an agency who does this job. So this is the critical problem right now BBMP facing and for that they are initiating this digitization uh, of the BBMP property. So this comes under BBMP limit only.
So what is the digitization all about and what they do it? So that is the first point is the Nana Swarbu. So this is a Canada term meaning my property. So it is an initiative by BBMP and uh, been uh, you know told to initiate this by the Deputy CM uh, DKCU one. And the property verification of this uh, digitization, the scope is only the prop, uh, Bangalore BBMP limit only. So they don't go to the other places like BMRDA limit or uh, outskirts where the BB, BDA also acting some role on that. So they are not going to touch that. Only the BBMP limit properties only been checked. So BBMP has given uh, initiative uh, to go to the on-site of each property locations, door-to-door -door verification. So they go with the uh, you know tools, they measure the building exactly what is the square feet and they're going to capture it. So been, uh, they come directly to the site and uh, check the properties. And uh, the power bill and property tax keep that ready hard copy or a soft copy to show to them. So they put that uh, property ID or uh, the application ID, they call and put it into the system. They'll pull the record. What is the existing, uh, you know, the, the square feet being captured. So in many apartments, when we give the sale deed, they go by the schedule, what is the square feet and they capture it. Sometimes, uh, you know, if it is not an apartment, what is the, whatever the tax you are paying currently, they verify against the square feet declared BBMP uh, database and a physical. So that's why they are asking this. You produce whatever it is there. So there is nothing to hide here. So they will come to know. So whatever is there, you produce it. And they mainly look for a deviation properties. For example, you got an approval ground plus three floors, which is the bylaw. Suppose if you build a G plus four, the fourth floor is extra. So they'll see that that so that is been whatever the approval plan and the physical building plan building is not matching. So what is the percentage of deviation? How many square feet you deviated? So fourth floor entire is a deviation. So they'll capture that, the deviated uh, square feet. And are you paying tax for that? Or if not paying, they will say that, uh, you know, since uh, building time till this time, uh, you know, what is the year of uh, gap you have not paid? So they will assess that and, and tell that so-and-so tax is outstanding, you pay it. And the physical mismatch, if it is not matching, they'll capture that. And mainly B Katha properties. A Katha properties are not, not to worry, which is 100% compliant as per the BBMC norms. Whereas the BBMP, B Katha, so these are a deviated properties are not compliant to BBMP regulations. So on such cases, the BBMP, B Katha properties mostly will be targeted and no Katha properties, which means they, there is no building approval, there is no record with the BBMP, but the structure is there. And where there is obviously there will not be any Katha, BBMP will issue, but the structure is there, so which is an illegal construction. So these things also, they will see that and whatever the penalty is there, they will put it. And of course, we have to pay that we can't escape it. And bring all the outside tax net properties, which is what these de deviated properties and, uh, you know, no Katha, illegal structures. So B Katha properties, deviation percentage, commercial also they'll see and uh, shops, uh, semi-commercial or uh, if you are building a commercial, uh, you know, a building in a residential site. That also a kind of a deviation. They'll see that are you paying commercial tax for that commercial property? So they verify all the aspects. So currently like this 25 to 30 percent as of now in Bangalore is there. So they are going to identify that 25 to 30 percent and bring into tax zone so that uh, uh, those properties also come under BBMP tax net. So right now it is outside. So they are trying to bring in. So, so because of this uh, bringing in, what is the benefit to the uh, government, which is increase the government revenue, which is 20 to 23 is 3,300 crores uh, and targeting to 
four point four thousand seven hundred crores is there uh you know revenue bbmp is expecting for the current financial year and 40 lakh properties like this verification is planned and bring them online and be transparent the data should be transparent whoever wanted to access inside the government authorities or few access they give to private people also so that it will become online and whenever we want we can verify it it is accessible to all the departments so that their uh, verifications also will be easy. And uh, currently the four wards started in November 23, which is uh, Kodi Hena Ali and uh, CV Raman Nagar, Ormavu and Arkeri. So these four are identified to start with and one, one place they did uh, some pilot and uh, that is in Elahanka, it is completed. So that, and they started doing the next set of uh, uh, wards, which is a place in Bangalore. And a few, uh, you know, in South Bangalore also, we received this SMS so that the owners will be, you know, aware that the people are visiting and checking so that uh, they don't see a surprise when they come. So what they do, the officials are, will capture the GPS location of the property and photos of the property and the documents, whatever the documents you have, they'll scan it and floor, uh, floor details, square feet and measurement, they do physical measurement and upload the data into their system. So that like this, gradually they start uh, bring all the property detail into the system. So Yekata properties, those who are shown the actual square feet of the property, they don't need to worry about it. So BBMP and there is nothing, no penalty, no nothing to worry. Mainly problem is the deviated properties, apartments, independent house, commercials uh, uh, will face issues. And um, there will be some uh, owners who are renting out their property, but they pay tax for own use. So that also will face some problem and uh, let's see what they say and uh, if it is that would have been easily done in the system itself there is not much provision in the bbmp site itself to change from owner to uh, tenant see according to the bbmp if you are renting out a flat your tax should be doubled suppose if you pay 5000 your tax would be doubled for a tenant so per square feet is it is different if it is owner 1 rupee if it is a uh, uh, tenanted it's two rupees so it is that that number declared by the bbmp so they go by the square feet so the multiply with the square feet whatever the number uh, discussed for tenant and the owner so some owners you know they're declaring that um, you know i'm only staying there but if you go physically there and there will be a tenant staying there so that uh, confusions are there so we don't know we have to wait and see how these been uh, you know, calculated with respect to the own um, BBMP. So let's wait and see what they are going to say. So these are all the highlights of the digitization. So I hope you understand now some basic idea about the BBMP property digitization. So this is our vision, mission, what we do and uh, uh, what are the property management service we do for mainly traveling guys, NRI, who are away from their property, we help them to manage their property and provide end-to-end -end service. So this is vision, mission, values, and uh, we are planning some software development for franchisees. We have a successful model in South Bangalore, They're trying to leverage in other locations also. So this is our service catalog. We'll give you basic idea and self-explanatory, you can easily understand. Any help required, you can connect with us. We will share more detail. So this is a book I'm writing and uh, this uh, will help uh, more uh, details, those who are uh, investing from remote location to India. So that it will help them to take the right decision. And this is what I'm capturing here. So I'll release this as early as possible. So thank you for watching. So if you like this video, please give thumbs up subscribe and click the bell icon and share more uh, about to your friends family so that they also aware of that what is that bbmp guy is trying to do 
so that they don't see a surprise later. So hope this helps you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.